Hi there. Uh, one of the things I seem to constantly use on the little mini lathe is the carriage stop. And unfortunately on my uh, new SC4 lathe I've not got one. So in this video I'm going to have a go at making one. So I've uh, cut some pieces of mild steel. This is a piece that's uh, roughly 40 millimetres by 20 by 20. And this is a piece that's around 30 by 15 by 20. And on this one, I've just scribed the shape of the uh, bed, the bedway, I think you call it, on the lathe. So the idea is that will fit on top. This will fit underneath and there'll be, I don't know, a bolt that goes through there to, uh, to lock it. So that's the idea at the moment. So I'm just going to use the mill to uh, take light cuts and gradually uh, cut out this profile. Blunt tool. Well, I must say, I'm really disappointed with these two cutters. I only got them last week and uh, they've got a name on them of Kestag High Speed Steel CO8. Um, they haven't even lasted five minutes. So we'll try this cutter. Well, that seems to be far better. Uh, this is one from Arc. It's, I think, it's a roughing cutter, one of their premium ranges. It's amazing what what difference a sharp tool can make. Anyway, I'll uh, carry on and I'll uh, get back to you a bit later. So this has just been a matter of making gradual cuts, following the the line, and um, gradually reducing cutters. Now, ideally, I think I should be going to about. 5mm in diameter at the bottom, but I've only got 6mm. Um, so I think I've gone as far as I can go. So what I'm going to do now is uh, take it out of the vise and do some hand filing to try and get that profile spot on. Well, I think I've got the profile uh, pretty close there. Happy with that. So my plan will be to put an adjusting screw through here so it touches on this area. And the screw for the clamp will go closer to the bed. And what I need to do with this clamp now is to adjust this. So I'll take quite an amount out of there on the mill. <laughs> Well, this seems to be coming along okay. Um, so my plan now is to drill through here um, just to take this M6 cap head screw. Uh, it won't be tapped, uh, so it needs to be M6 clear. And then on this one here, I'm going to drill and tap M6. So it will screw through like that. And then here, I'm going to drill through that way um, and tap for an M6 um, cap head screw and that will work like that as an adjustable 
bolt up against the carriage. Well this really is starting to uh, come together now. And uh, all I need to do now is to put this uh, adjusting screw in here. So I'll drill a hole in here, um, which will be five millimeters. But I'll I'll drill right through five millimeters, but uh, from the other side I'll open it up um, to uh, probably six or six point five millimeters. So I'm only tapping the first half of the block. There's no point in tapping right through. I might as well make life easy and uh, hopefully uh, that'll be it well I changed my mind a little bit um, so I this side of the hole I opened up and I threaded the lower bit so that will go in like that anyway we'll put it on the lathe and uh, see what it looks like well I'm really happy with the way that's turned out Well, I think that turned out pretty well, and uh, now I can use my SC4 in anger. And uh, if anybody's interested, uh, I'll put um, a diagram up with the dimensions on. Um, so anyway, I hope you like it. <laughs>